It was supposed to be the diplomatic breakthrough that would impose a ceasefire in Syria and bring badly needed aid to the people. More than three weeks later, the deal is dead because the U.S. says Russia didn't bargain in good faith. The United States spared no effort in negotiating and attempting to implement an arrangement with Russia aimed at reducing violence, providing unhindered humanitarian access, and degrading terrorist organizations operating in Syria, including Daesh and al-Qaeda in Syria. Unfortunately, Russia failed to live up to its own commitments. The Obama administration says Russia and Syria attacked an aid convoy on September 19th and have increased their bombing raids on residents' homes, hospitals, and critical infrastructure in Aleppo. After several rounds of talks this weekend to try to save the ceasefire, U.S. officials said they were getting nowhere. The Russians made very clear um, that they would not cease um, the attacks that we're seeing. The U.S. says its decision had nothing to do with Monday's announcement that Russia is suspending its participation in a nuclear nonproliferation deal. Moscow accuses Washington of violating the 2010 deal, citing what it calls, quote, the emergence of a threat to strategic stability as a result of unfriendly moves of the USA as regards the Russian Federation and the inability of the U.S. to ensure fulfillment of the obligations on the disposal of redundant war-grade plutonium compliant to international agreements. Experts say that on this point, Russia is right. You can store them, but they can be stolen maybe or something can happen to them. They're highly toxic. It's a nasty thing. In light of the Obama administration's failed efforts to prevent Moscow from meddling in Ukraine, and in light of the diplomatic failure in Syria, it may be unlikely to expect Vladimir Putin to recommit to the nonproliferation agreement. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.